I know this is a little bit after the fact, but I still have to talk about it. Hey, this is Deborah, also known as Dubage42, with my take. Today's my take is about those neo-Nazi alt-right people and their demonstration in Charlottesville, Virginia. Now, I just have this to say to start off. If you do not openly condemn the views about racism, bigotry, and hatred that they espouse, then you are silently supporting them. The fact that the Cheeto in chief has gone on and said, oh, well, all sides were wrong. No, all sides were not wrong in this. The anti-protesters, the, the people going to sort of be the other side to their little, uh, you know, Heil, Seek Heil rally, um, were there peacefully. They were also trying to provide an alternate voice that says, no, America does not stand for hate and bigotry. And one of those alt-right morons plowed a car into them and killed someone and hurt a bunch of other people. That's not okay. Also, I want you to think about this. Here you have this sea of white, albeit mostly grimy, but white, mostly male, uh, large human people carrying torches, many of them carrying firearms, shouting hatred, and being a menace, and starting violence. None of them died. Had a Black Lives Matter protest been out there without being armed, just using their words, how many of them would have gotten arrested and or shot by nervous police officers? Saw a meme about that, and yes, that there, my folks, is white privilege right there. And it's not right. Not that I'm saying that they should not have the right to protest, because they do. They have the right to demonstrate. They have the right to espouse any of the dumb shit that they want to. But they don't have the right to avoid the consequences of the things and the values that they are espousing. Several people from there who have been outed because, uh, unlike in years past, the KKK doesn't wear those little white sheets anymore. Uh, people have lost their jobs already. Oh, yes. You don't have the right to just keep being liked by people if you show them who you really are. And we know who you really are. You're full of hate and fear mostly fear. Fear that someone that you feel is inferior is going to outdo you in life. I got news for you, bud. The amount of melanin in someone's skin does not decide who is good and who is bad and who is smart and who is dumb. The religion that they were brought up with also does not decide that. You like hating and shouting your racial epithets and putting people down because of the color of their skin. Well, this pasty white girl is going to say, you are wrong. I will not stand for the hatred and the bigotry. And I will stand up against it wherever I am. Whether I'm at a restaurant, in line at the grocery store, or at work. I hear people making fun of people of other ethnicities because we deal with the people of a lot of different ethnicities at my job. I will hear them thinking that they think that they're being cool and cute and funny. I'm like, really? So how many languages do you speak? Because their English might not be so good. I speak English. Yeah, well, English is their fourth language, as a matter of fact. Because I asked, a lot of these folks are very interesting people. They've traveled around the world. You've never left your little corner of rural North Georgia. 
Does that make them a better person than you? Well, that doesn't necessarily make them a better person than you, but their actions and their lack of hatred towards people who are different than them, that makes them a much better person than you. That's just my take on all this stupid alt-right neo-Nazi hatred bullshit that's going on in this country. Trump and his ilk have let people crawl out from under whatever rocks they've been living and look at the sun and go, oh yeah, it's our time. Well, you know what? It's not. Because pasty white bitches like me are going to stand up against you.